Alright team, this one should be fairly short and sweet as we'll be looking at your report title. So, usual tried and tested format. Why our title is important, then some examples, then some further reading resources. So why our title is important is whether they accomplish similar goals to the aims. Establishing the report's direction, depth and scope. However, the title has to do us in fewer words than the aims. An excellent report title encapsulates the entire project in 16 words or less. And from this title, the reader can predict everything that's going to be in it. A lifesaver when your family asks you what you're doing at uni. Because <laughs> it saves you from having to speak to someone and try to explain it. So if you can write a really well done title, they won't ask you any more questions. Perfect for when you go back to see your parents at Christmas. So, there's no marking rubric for a title, as it would usually come under the overall section of a report. So we'll just get straight into the examples. In this short, poor example, there are three aspects I kind of want to discuss. So, the title is Web App Scanner's Comparison Zap Burp and Mapiti. The word choice is fine, however, the abbreviations are discouraged, especially in this case app is more commonly be used to describe phone applications therefore you may mislead the reader because um, you might be talking about WordPress. Next thing, this is probably one of the most important ones, this title has some poor formatting as it contains two sub clauses, one is a colon and one is a hyphen. Stick to only one sub clause in a title at most or else you'll just end up with a confusing mouthful, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two kind of Honestly, the final comment has again got to do with word choice. What are you looking to find out from this comparison? What are the basis for your comparison? There's greater level of detail necessary in this title. This example is okay for first draft, but could be so much better. Here's a decent example. It's using the exact same report. We've just done another draft. A comparison of the effectiveness. Superb of web application security scanners. Not great. One, a comparison of the effectiveness answers what I mentioned in the previous one with a poor comparison. We're actually knowing what we're going to compare here, the effectiveness of a scanner. But the second part of the sentence kind of lets it down, possibly subpar word choice, as we've not given away what we're going to really focus on. We're going to focus on web apps, but we could be a bit more scoped in. So we want to say maybe WordPress web applications or WordPress applications rather than web app scanners. Some revision may be necessary just so you're not being so generic. You want to make sure the reader goes, yes, I want to read this report because I'm interested in WordPress. You don't want them to scour over it to find out, oh yeah, you did do WordPress, but you only told that in the methodology. Heading towards the end here, but before that, make sure you check out some of these reading resources to help you define your title writing. Some good examples are found within. Writing an effective title is a pretty good one. And unfortunately, there's not a phrase bank page for this episode because they don't have a page for titles. It's kind of one of those things you just kind of pick up on when it comes to the instruction words and essays. So, to wrap up, we focus on titles. We've spoken about how titles are similar to aims, accomplishing many of the same qualities with a lot less to work with. We've seen a poor and decent example of these titles with associated feedback. So, hopefully, you can use these comments to inform your title. Finally, we saw some additional resources which you can go away to read to develop your title writing skills further. That's all from me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode and good luck.